Uh, a few teams. Uh, Chiefs, Jets, Jacksonville, uh, San Fran, Packers. How much is that them wanting to know you and just more so just knowing what you bring to the game? Uh, I mean, I bring to the game a few a few attributes that a few other guys don't have: size, speed, um, and they and they just really want to know how you can develop in their system. George, how healthy are you? Uh, I'm very healthy right now. Uh, with me coming back playing the last four games, trust and uh, really preparing is no longer a problem. You feel you're 100 percent? Yeah. W when were you 100 percent? Uh, really does. I came back to Georgia Tech game. Uh, SC Championship was when I was most definitely 100%. Uh, caught a goal ball. George, what's the last year been like for you, uh, you know, being away from football in terms of not being on the field until you know November? Uh, it's most definitely hard. I mean, it was most definitely challenging not being on the field. You want to be out there with the guys. Uh, they winning games without you. So, like, it was most definitely hard, but it's nothing. It's nothing that I haven't seen before. Did the rehab go like you expected? Did you have a plan laid out that it, and, and did it? Did you follow it? Yeah, the, uh, immediately as soon as I got hurt, I knew in my head I was going to have a strict schedule and a routine that I was going to try to abide by and try to, you know, go by that and get back as soon as, because that was the initial plan anyway in my head, just come back. What are you hoping to show this week at the Combine? Uh, most definitely my speed. Uh, a lot of people don't think I'm that fast, so I just want to show everybody that I'm really the guy that you see on film. And why you decide this. now to come out after three years instead of maybe staying another year at Georgia? It's important to play the full season. Yeah, uh, I decided to come out just strictly because if you do stay, you can also do the same thing again. So you don't want to risk that. Usually that speed part kind of factors into your vert and your broad. Should those all be events where you're kind of in the upper upper long, do you think? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a vert and I'm gonna do the uh, 40. I'm not gonna run, I'm gonna do broad at pro day. But uh, 40 most definitely is one of the most important things I'm focused on right now. Do you have a time that you wanna hit? Uh, yeah, probably four three, four four. And people people don't really know that. Like me just saying that number, people are like, whoa. <laughs> huh. Do you think the injury set you back in terms of your NFL draft stock and, and how much can you make up in the next uh, you know, couple months? Yeah, I feel like it uh, <laughs> set me back just in other teams' mind because everybody know how serious the ACL is. Uh, Odell had it, you know, it's a really critical part of the body. But uh, in terms of me personally, it ain't set me back at all. I still got like a first round mentality. George, are you uh, trying to show people that you can show up? Route tree, because a lot of people say, hey, catch that go route, excited to show people you can do it. Yeah. yeah, I'm for sure. Uh, excited to show people that I can really, uh, I'm a real, real route runner when it comes to uh, flexibility and routes, and just not like a deep ball guy, and just not a big guy. Uh, I'm a big guy that can move. How big was signing uh, the deal with Brady and being able to represent that? Uh, that was good. Uh, we did the uh, Brady deal in uh, New York, Brooklyn. Uh, and that was just a good thing to uh, really expand my brand. Uh, and you meet Brady, of course. I mean, he'll, he's a nice guy. And plus, he, uh, he retired this year. So it's really a big emphasis now even more because nobody is expecting Brady to leave the game out of the way he did. What did you learn about yourself just in the process of having to go through the rehab, sit out, watch him? Uh, I realized that like uh, I'm a real hard worker uh, and I'm hard on myself. And uh, when I figured that out, I figured out if you if you know yourself, you can't lie to yourself. So uh, I put those two together and uh, I was able to come back faster than what I actually thought I was going to be able to come back. Is there anybody you model your game after or watch pretty much? Uh, yeah, I, I watch Devontae Adams a lot. Uh, I'm bigger than Devontae Adams, but uh, that's kind of the lane I want to kind of go into with the size I am because a guy who can move is almost unguardable. What part of your game do you think best translates to the other field? Uh, my ball skills for sure. Contested catches, uh, catching over the middle. Uh, I mean, drawing penalties. I'm really good at drawing penalties on DBs. The pass catching aspect, that's obviously there, but what's your approach and your mindset when it comes to the blocks and how much they're playing at Georgia, you know, run heavy team? Yeah, uh, we got some good backs on our team too. 
uh, James Cook, Jameer White, Kenny McIntosh. Uh, and me just blocking was always been a part of the program, a part of the scheme of the team. So, uh, and I've always been physical. So like, that's just one of the things that I can also add to my game besides pass catching and besides going deep. So blocking is for sure one of the things I, I pride myself on. How do you feel Georgia prepared you for the NFL? I feel like they did a really good job uh, preparing people for the NFL, including myself. Uh, really the routine that we, we do at Georgia, uh, practice is very similar. We got an NFL type practice. We got NFL type players. Half of the players on my team are here. So like, <laughs> it's almost like you in the league already. Uh, I'll probably tell the freshman George, uh, you didn't know it was gonna happen like this, but uh, it's one it's, it's one thing or another. So uh, I'll probably tell freshman George that just keep working. That's something I didn't know when 2019. George, I know you didn't get to play with him in college, but you're looking forward to it in Bo Nix, and you grew up playing with him. Certainly. Yeah. What kind of guy is he to, to his new teammates at Oregon? What's he like? What should they look forward to in a quarterback? In yeah, Bo Nix is actually uh, – he's a great quarterback, to be honest. Uh, he could be here right now also. Uh, and the people at Oregon, I just – I mean, I, I think they should just – pull out the best in him. He's already got a good uh, motor ahead of him. He already got a good mindset, uh, type of way he carry himself. He carry himself a uh, real private, private offline person. And I feel like Oregon, that's a school for him. I feel like uh, that should have been the first choice. How have the meetings with teams gone and what did you want them to take away in terms of the kind of guy you are? Uh, I know like, uh, I, want, I really want teams to really just see the person who I am because the type of play style I am uh, and how I am on the field is two different people than the type of person I am right now. So like, I play with a, a chip on my shoulder uh, and that's just how I've always been. That's how I've always gonna be. I'm gonna stay the same way. <laughs> George, what's a, what's a weakness maybe in your game and, and how are you addressing that? And maybe what is the skill you have to, to compensate for it? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably say me personally, uh, I work on my game in every aspect, so I work every day, but in people's eyes, they'll probably say speed. Like I was saying, you really don't know how fast I really am until I show you. Uh, I'm physical, so it's really not a lot that you can say, but I'll probably say my speed. George, have you had any communication like formal or informal with the Steelers yet? Oh uh, yeah, I had uh, both actually, informal and formal. I thought that it was interesting you mentioned Devontae Adams. Some of your releases off the line of scrimmage are super smooth for a guy your size. Do you yeah. think that's something that sets you apart? Yeah, it sets me apart a lot because really big big receivers are big on big, powerful, stuff like that. And I'm really, I really pride myself on being creative. So not so much power and just finesse. Do you see yourself um, as like more of an X or Z receiver at the next level? Or do you um, feel like you can do both? My freshman year, I played both. The offense was based off of if you're on one side or another. So I play X and Z. And I can, feel, I can play slot also. George, you played so much at a young age when you were freshman, sophomore, just playing right away for a big program at yeah. Georgia. How do you, what was the mentality going into Georgia that you thought that you could play, contribute right away? And how do you think it's going to help you starting right away in the NFL? Uh, like I was saying, uh, my mentality, the way I play, like the style of play I play with, is really what helped me when I first got to Georgia. Uh, I really wasn't seeing no, I wasn't seeing nobody. I wasn't seeing no DB or other receivers and competition. I'm my own competition, for real. So uh, that's the kind of mentality I always have, and that's the mentality I'm going to keep. George, how are the quarterbacks different at Georgia? We saw you do a big numbers with JT Daniels, not as much with Stetson. Was there a, a difference in the offense of the quarterbacks? Yeah, uh, Stetson is more of like a – he's a run first. I mean, uh, he, ha he has the legs under him to run, so that gives him the option to run. And uh, JT – his, his touch, his throwing, his throwing ability has really excelled over the years. And, uh, they, they're, both, they're both good quarterbacks. They're both great quarterbacks. Uh, it's just one fits another scheme and then one fits another scheme. What's it like lining up against you? Just say 30 and 8. I mean, are you chatty out there? I mean, what's your rapport with the defensive back? Yeah, uh, I'm most definitely chatty. Uh, I like to talk trash, but I also like to show it. Kind of like how Richard Sherman was. Talk trash, but he also can back it up. And I feel like uh, if you have that, you're going to put fear in a lot of people. Who's the best trash talker that you went against? Uh, the best trash talker I went against, uh, I don't really know. A lot of people, I really start a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're a bully as a run blocker? 
do you think that run blocking is instinctive like aggressiveness or do you think that's something that has to be coached in? Uh, I feel like aggressiveness for sure because me growing up you either give the blow or you take it so if you can uh, if you can enforce your will I'll choose that one instead of you know you have the Packers teams. Wait, what did you say? I'm sorry, yeah. Have the uh, Packers showed any interest in you? Uh, yeah, I also uh, did a few informal and informal with the Packers, too. Uh, their, their scheme is real nice. I mean, they got a lot going on with, you know, MVP of the league, Aaron Rodgers, Devontae. They already got a, a nice fit for their team. George, you want to go back to Uh, I can most definitely watch. His uh his separation. I also watch Cooper Cup too. I didn't I didn't mention that. But I watch Cooper Cup too. Have your attention, uh, please. Brock I watch. I can watch his separation. And his, uh, his 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 releases are really the smoothest releases I've probably ever seen besides Ocho Cinco. That's that's a lot of people compare Devontae to a lot of other receivers to the game today. When in reality, he's more like Ocho to me. That emphasis on releases um, seems unique for a big guy. How do, how do you go about? you know, developing, formulating your ideas there and implementing? What is your process on working on your releases? Yeah, uh, depending on the, uh, I watch a lot of film on DBs too, so if he's over aggressive, I'm going to do a lot of speed release. I'm not going to let him really try to touch me. But if he's like a soft shoot type of guy, that's when you can get in your bag a little bit. You know, you can create more time. You can you can sauce up your releases for real. George, George obviously was chasing a national championship. If it didn't turn out that way, would you come back anyway? If it was, uh, you know, they didn't win the SEC East, they didn't have significant games ahead? Uh, it would have just been harder. It would have been a harder decision, but I would have probably did the same decision. Uh, and I kind of knew we were going to, I kind of knew the team that I was on recently was special. I mean, Coach Smart mentioned it many times, so like, I kind of knew the squad we had was special. George, being close to Atlanta, being able to show that high, go about yeah, uh, when I first when I first got to Georgia, I used to watch a lot of Calvin Ridley. He uh, he stepped away before the game for a little bit, so it's kind of hard to watch him. But like uh, I used to watch a lot of Calvin. Yeah, uh, Calvin, he's more of like a snap down type of guy. Like he really on top at the top of his routes, he's real good. Uh, I didn't watch too much of him. Uh, I'm from Alabama, so I seen him there too. Uh, yeah. I don't really watch yeah. too much of them. George, how does Georgia compa- prepare a receiver for the NFL? What are the benefits of playing in Todd Munkin's system? Uh, the biggest benefit is a pro style offense. And we go into the pros. So, like, uh, that really helps a lot. Uh, he was formerly with the Browns, Baker Mayfield, Odell, that, that year right there. Uh, and that's the offense we ran. We ran the same exact offense. So, the biggest benefit is just being in a pro style offense. Who are some of the Georgia receivers we should watch for next year now that you're moving on? Uh, I'll probably say Adonai Mitchell. Uh, really, Jermaine Burr, he's no longer a Georgia receiver, but you want to keep your eye on him for sure. If you have to show one catch to a GM, to a head coach, which one is it? Uh, I'll probably say Cincinnati, uh, Peach Bowl. Caught a post. Uh, it was another diamond catch, kind of how it was here. It was crazy. Uh, I also caught a crazy pass at practice that that went kind of viral. It's like a one hand catch. George, what, what part of your game do you that think best really translates to the next level? Think, uh, uh, my physicality for sure. That's one thing I know at the next level that they're gonna have. Guys are gonna be big, they're gonna be strong, they're gonna be fast, they're gonna be long. And, uh, just playing in the SEC, it really helps that you go against guys, Gary Stacey, JC Horn, the same guys are that are in the league, you go against every year. So like, I feel like that's a, being in the SEC really improved my game a lot. How confident are you your first round pick, George? We've seen your status that high in some of the projections. Uh, I'm, I'm very confident. Uh, I know I can present to teams exactly what a first round pick is. So like, uh, like I was saying, my routes, uh, my speed, uh, my intelligence of the game too. A lot of people don't know that about me. Uh, I watch a lot of football. You mentioned being last here. Question, please, you mentioned last question. being in this city earlier this year. When did it hit you that you'd won a national title? Uh, when I actually came back here for Monday. I think Monday when we flew in, when all the receivers and the QBs flew in, it really hit me. Like uh, I just caught a post here. <laughs> we just wanted that. Like it really hit me then. Thank you, George. Thank you, bro.